by one of the most, in my eyes, deadliest waves in the world. I got to the beach and I saw my first wave break at Pipeline. I'm like, how do we people even drop into that? And then the sand was shaking, the reef was there, and I was just scared out of my mind. Something about this wave is amazing, you know? How it barrels and it breaks right in the same spot in the spit. I don't know, it's just it's a mesmerizing wave and I love it. Not only is there caves out there and reef shelf, but there's like these pinnacles, like big pinnacles of reef. Some people say, don't go out snorkeling, you'll freak yourself out, or don't go look at it. I mean, I mean, I think it helps. It makes me feel more comfortable. Whatever you think it's gonna do, it's not gonna do that. It's gonna do something a little more screwed up. It's a dangerous, scary wave, but if it's going, we're like, looking at it and we want to be the first guy out there or whatever the last we want to be the first guy out there and the last guy in and I don't know there's something about something weird it's, it's yeah it's just like, like it's like a beautiful chaos <laughs> Pipeline is a really uh, special wave. I feel like the older you get, the easier it gets to catch waves. So it's always insane to watch like Derek and Michael. When they pal out, it's like the lineup just parts. Derek's gone, I don't even look, you know? So he gets the total respect. They're like if dad and uncle Derek are right here, and they're just like all awe to me, and, and father and uncle. But um, yeah, Andy and Bruce are right there. I feel like they're almost my dads too. Those guys are like, God. <laughs> At Pipeline, I grew up watching Kelly Slater, Johnny Boy Gomes, Bruce Irons, Andy Irons. That what, that's what got me psyched. Thinking about Kelly, if you're a professional surfer, you have to be able to make it fly. You know, he proved that he could do that. Kelly Slater was for sure a hero. Then he'd be walking down to his heats, and I'd like run and tackle his legs and stuff, and he'd give me a noogie. And I just be like, yo, yup, Noogie from Slater, and he's gonna win. Jamie's approach is really interesting. It's very unique. When it when it's on, that guy's out here, and that's what it takes to be the best, I think. I definitely think backside barrel riding has changed the game. You know, I think Kelly Slater came into it and changed it, and I think. Bruce and Andy and John and myself, we just followed, you know, it was just something that with enough practice, we could take off later than anybody backside. So I think it opened up a lot of doors for backsiders. Three to find, I think a lot of the way, the way people surf waves around the world, it makes it more exciting, you know? So John John was a really cool little Product. He just kept getting better and better. One summer he went away and he came back. He got stronger, he got taller, he just started killing it. Then he started wanting all the ways I wanted. It gets better and better every year out there. It's fun to watch and uh, yeah, he's the man. John John. <laughs> I think the future of surfing pipeline is just gonna be like um, doing what the old school did, but like mixing it. While you're in the barrel and looking at that closeout section going, I'm gonna do an air off that. It's been a place where I've mentally been beaten and had some of the best moments of my life, and that's the addiction of pipeline. You never know what you're gonna get served. <laughs>